we shall talk to her. Who is she? She is it because she's bigger than us. I mean, I was just tagging along. I, I'm sure her friend to the owner of the boyfriend win. If Rita was going to win, then I was going to join in the what's it called? See, the first one on my head, but when I turned back and I saw that this girl was on top of Rita. hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tosin. if you are new welcome glad to have you on my channel i am Tosin. i'm a lifestyle content creator based in Ibadan, nigeria thank you join the titi gang by subscribing it is free totally free i'm not collecting money so do that now thank you if you're an existing subscriber glad to have you on my channel again so today i'm going to be doing a story time about how my friend and myself got beaten because of man <laughs> man because of man yes you heard they beat me they beat my friend the boy of us together they beat us because of man anyways let's get right into the video so growing up i had this friend let's call her rita rita was my friend she was my neighborhood friend basically we grew up in the same hood and all of that so she was my we didn't attend the same school at all but we were like friends neighborhood friends basically so I was this girl, I attended a boarding school throughout my secondary school. So from GSS1 to SS3, I was in boarding school. So I only used to see Rita when I come back home during the holidays. And then Rita was attending a day school. So she would gist me about, you know, boys that were toasting her, that were like on a matter, this, that. She had one boyfriend, this, that. She just used to give me all those gists. And to be honest, then, those gists were very exciting to me. Because I was in boarding school one, two. My school was a girls only school. So there was nothing exciting about I, I didn't have all of all of those memories or you know experiences. So she used to she used to tell me about you know this particular guy that did this, blah 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 blah. So I really enjoyed Rita's company. Now there was this time that I came home and then Rita told me about a boyfriend. This one was not a secondary school friend. It was different because it was not a secondary school boyfriend like the previous ones she used to just me about. This one was like a man, man, you know. He was in uni, I think. I can't remember totally, but I think he was in uni. I can remember the, he had a car and everything like that. So Rita would just me about all those things. And I, I was very excited for her, like, oh, my friend is a big gay, that kind of thing. I mean, I was just tagging along. I, I'm sure her friend to the owner of the boyfriend. <laughs> That kind of thing. That's how Rita Rit used to just me about this particular guy. That's how Rita came to my house one evening. You know, that toasting, we need to talk, blah, blah, blah. Ah, ah. Rita, what happened? She said that she thinks that the man is cheating on her. <sighs> what are we going to do with the committee of ah, me, well, we shall, that kind of thing. They cannot, <laughs> hey, you cannot mess with my friend. That uh, boyfriend that all of us were really happy about because it was not just me and Rita in this friendship. We were about four then. So all of us were like, ah, uh, uh, Rita, like Rita's boyfriend, our new boyfriend, Rita, the big girl with the, you know, matured boyfriend, that kind of thing. Like, what's happening? She told us that she's suspecting that the guy is cheating and the guy, the girl is cheating with too that she knows the girl's house blah 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 rita came to my house that we need to go and visit this girl that was my first mistake i said yes my two other friends said no she I should have known when they said no that it's time to say no but i am a true friend and if you know me even till now I don't, I don't play with my, I don't joke with my friends. If you do things to my friend, eh, I will carry it on my head like gilly. If you do things to me, I might or might not react. But if you do it to my friends, I don't even joke. So this person was messing with my Rita. Nah, I wasn't going to have it. So I was a true friend. So I, I, I promised Rita that I was going to follow her to this person that was, you know, trying to snatch our boyfriend, Rita's boyfriend from her. So myself and Rita picked dates. For this particular event of going to meet this girlfriend that was trying to snatch Rita's boyfriend. She had picked dates, everything like that. Rita came to my house, from my house. It was even, it was not so far because it was like two streets away from our streets then. That's how we started going, going, going. We shall met the girl. In fact, luckily it was the girl. She was just like coming out of the house when we entered like that. That's how immediately we saw the girl. She was way bigger, like she was older than us, basically. She was older than us. She was way bigger and everything like that. That was my first 
queue to leave. But no, a true friend. So I stayed. The second queue for me to have left was when this girl opened her mouth and then she goes, Hey, what's up? Basically, this girl, Nabitiko girl, she just came back from the UK and then she, you know, she was giving us all this. So, who is this rap? <laughs> See, I don't have British accent, but she was just, you know, she was mumbling the words together. That was my second cue to leave. But no, true friend, I stayed. In fact, Rita, she was already, you know, she was already stepping back. I was like, no, we can't, we can't get here and not finish what we came for. We shall talk to her. Who is she? she? Is it because she's bigger than us? Blah, blah, blah. This guy loves Rita. Rita is his true love. That kind of thing. I was sh I was giving Rita ginger. Sha told her that we did not come to fight her. That we just wanted to ask that is she truly dating this particular guy? Let's call the guy Tunde. So that is she really dating Tunde? And if she's really dating Tunde, that she give us every... Huh? <laughs> I feel stupid because of this next question that we were told that she give us evidence that Tunde asked her out first before Rita because Rita was the first to get there. <laughs> so she was like, Oh, you guys want evidence, Abby? You guys want evidence? I'm going to show you evidence. And then she went inside. People of God, was it not time to leave? She be it's time to turn back. No true friend <laughs> i stayed with her too she was right behind me that's how this girl came with rod big rod cotton those rods that they use for curtains that's what she came with as in in my mind i was like she possibly was not coming to come and hit us with that possible see the first one on my head bah, it shocked me i think the shock just allowed me to stand like eh and then the next one on Rita said, that's how, but Rita, like, she's big, she was, she has always been bigger than me in size. So she was, she was, she started fighting with her, everything like that. So I, you, I, I tried to observe that who was going to win. If Rita was going to win, then I was going to join in the, what's it called? When I turned back and I saw that this girl was on top of Rita. Ladies and gentlemen, that's where my friendship ended. That was the most I could do for my friend Rita. You see, I've helped her. Up to that point, they hit me rod because of, I was still a teenager then. Teenager, in fact, it has to be top two stupid things that I've done in my entire life. Do you understand? I just left them there, and then me, I, I just ran to my house. See, today, I see, I never told my mom, I did not tell anybody. The thing was hurting me like this. I was just rubbing my head, and, and then I was on low cuts like this. I was just rubbing my head, and then I went to. I do not even tell anybody. I had a headache that day. I could not tell mommy that I had a headache because I was going to have to explain what caused the headache. So I did not bother. I just, since then, Zarita started keeping malice with me. Can you guys imagine? Keeping malice with me. After I helped you to come and fight somebody, she said I did not wait to the end that Kiniko Kiniko allowed the girl to beat her. <laughs> Funny thing is, still today, I don't know where Rita is. I've set on Facebook because we later moved away from that particular area and all of that. So I tried to search on Facebook, you know, search with her, her first name, her second name. I've not been able to, you know, see her again. But yeah, that's it. Though. That's how myself and Rita's friendship ended. And then that's how I got beaten because of somebody else's man. You know, the funny thing. The funny thing is, I think about two months later, I still saw Rita and this one Kutude together. Now, it wasn't my business anymore. In fact, if Uncle Tude has 50 girlfriends, I'm not going to be the one to tell Rita because she cannot tell me to come and follow us, come and meet all those people again. Uh, the one I've done, what to is enough. So, yeah. <sighs> That's how myself and Rita's friendship just it ended, to be honest. I wasn't so pained because this was somebody that was supposed to be saying sorry to me and then she was still vexing for me and all of that but of course i think it was just the old teenage mentality we had and all of that but yeah i'm glad everything is over basically yeah, like i said this has to be top two craziest things that i've ever done so yes it's not something i will ever do now that i'm really wiser and all of that so yeah that's it let me know in the comment section if you've done anything as crazy as this before or if you've you know heard of any experience like this, just share with me in the comment section and if you enjoyed this please like comment subscribe if you haven't and yes don't forget to keep growing and stay glowing i'll see you in my next video
Bye. Subscribe, please. Especially if you love my videos. Oh, my funny videos. Let's call her Hannah. No. Hannah, your age mama come alone.